greetings and peace and many, many blessings. We are the Mohammeds, the residential tourists. We are 85 to Africa, living in the after. It's been a minute. It's been some time since we have had the opportunity to actually uh, sit and present and share with you uh, our experience here in Rwanda as the residential tourist, uh, due large in part to our uh, busyness with the cafe and the Airbnb and all of that there. So, we've been here now for Six seventh month. She always saying six months. It's the seventh month. Well, this is the sixth month. You cannot count the day, the day you arrive as a month. Sure you can. But anyway, May fourth, June fourth, April fourth. We got here April August fourth. Yes, but you have to do a full thirty days to count that as a month. So we're not gonna focus on that. So she says six. I say seven. How Either are you way. Seven yeah. Nonetheless. The reason why I stress that is because, um, you know, our experience here has been wonderful, you know, it's been really great. And from the moment we arrived, it's been just that. It's been really, really, really great. So over the past maybe two weeks, the experiences that we've, we've had it's as if we are actually seeing Rhonda for the very, very first time. Our focus, I guess, well, let me speak for myself. Primarily, our focus and, and, and I guess our initial interest to Rhonda was that it is a progressive country on the continent. And, you know, the opportunity for us to be able to do uh, things that we desire to do uh, in the way of living and, and um, business, whatever the case may be, um, great infrastructure for that. Totally, totally, well not totally, but almost totally neglecting the cultural tradition of the actual Rondon people. And over the last couple weeks, we had the opportunity to experience such. And so uh, the actual uh, documentation of which we are going to share with you and show you um, is one of them. And there's a uh, function that occurs here in, in Rwanda, or in, K in Kigali, I should say, that is located and held at the um, well-known Hotel Rwanda, but it's not the name, that's not the name uh, presently, it's a different name, but it's the exact same location. And a brief backdrop and a brief story is that at the cafe, at Ikawa Cafe, a wonderful lady, Rondon, came and visited us wanting to uh, have the experience at Ikawa Cafe. And um, for whatever reason, I was uh, instantly, immediately drawn to her. An older uh, Rondon uh, woman. And we sat and we talked, or I listened and she talked. And during that time, I realized that based on what she was sharing with us, I had not really availed myself to learn enough about the Rwandan culture and tradition prior to the unfortunate genocide. And she was very humble. She made herself of no reputation. Uh, however, she is really in direct uh, line of, a ro of royal lineage here in Rwanda. Her name is Miss Grace. I was so grateful for her. She was so warm and welcoming uh, to us. And she's, she was wonderful. So she enlightened uh, us with some, some good history and good information. And very proud of that cultural 
tradition and, 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 and the history of the Rwandan people. Uh, very, they're very strong people, man. They're very strong people. At any rate, she invited us to uh, a function or an event that occurs uh, here in Rwanda at that particular location mentioned to you of uh, the former Hotel Rwanda, which is now Hotel de Mil Kalines. Kalines, I know I'm not pronouncing that correctly. However, um, she was very happy for us to be able to uh, accept such an invitation and attend, and we did. And I couldn't stop crying, man. I don't cry like that. She'll tell you. I don't, I'm not really. I don't think she ever, she only seen me cry once. Off of Ian, Iana Lazan. <laughs> she had to sell for what? <laughs> but I couldn't, experiencing this, which is a song and dance is what it is, and you'll see it for yourself. Uh, I could not stop crying. I couldn't understand why. I could, I, I could understand, but I just couldn't stop crying. You know, uh, because it was beyond the entertainment of them, traditional dancing and singing. It was so moving. It was. It was. It went straight through your. The singing went just straight through your, through, through your bones, man, because of the sincerity of what they were singing. It was all in Kinyaranda. I didn't understand a word of it. But Miss Grace, while I see, sitting next to me, she leaned over it and one particular song, she said, that particular song I requested for them to sing. And she was telling me what they were singing and what they were saying. And it was saying, welcome back home. And I'm, I'm telling this story, I'm trying not to get teary eyed because she was saying they were singing welcome back home and she was saying that in the song they were telling the story of how we went away and they were saying that we went away to go uh not taken away but we just went away for a moment but now you're back and welcome back home man and it was just like you know it was really moving and very made me very very emotional and as I continued to listen and watch, you know, I began to, you know, wonder about certain things like, man, it's like, what could we have been if that was not interrupted, man? That tradition and that unification and that, that uh, you know, just happiness. It was just so much happiness in the songs and so much happiness in the dance and so much togetherness. And it's like, man, they, you know, they came and they just disrupted all of that, man. You know, and so at any rate, I just wanted to give that brief backdrop. I uh, thought it's necessary and it's important. As you view and you watch, uh, we couldn't record it in its entirety. Uh, and it's something you really you have to experience yourself directly. Uh, but it's something, um, you know, we really thoroughly enjoy. Excuse me, we thoroughly enjoy. And uh, I hope that you will too. Um, you know, if you're in Rhonda, you know, check it out. It's at Hotel, Hotel de Mil Kaleen. It's formerly the Hotel Rhonda. Uh, and um, it's a beautiful, beautiful hotel. Uh, so check it out. It's on Friday, I think at 7. It's best to maybe to you know get reservations, um, but if not, you still can can go. And uh, every Friday at seven, at seven, get there about six thirty. It's about six thirty is a good time. If you're coming to Rhonda, looking for a place to do go and something to do, definitely that is something you will want to experience uh, for sure. And we'll definitely include that in our Airbnb uh, of things to do when you get here. All right, enjoy. Continue to pray for us as we will for you. Thank you for your support. Please subscribe. Please, please, please. Peace and blessings. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Peace and blessings. We are the residential tourists. The Muhammad's 85 to Africa. We are living in the after. And we are currently at 
uh, Hotel Day Milkaleen. And from our understanding, formerly Hotel Rhonda. So we are here by uh, invite of a beautiful sister, uh, Sister Grace, who is Rondon. Uh, had the honor and the privilege and the pleasure of meeting her at Ikawa Cafe and sat down over a nice hot cup of cappuccino and she gave me some real, real good uh, information, uh, education, if you will, on Rondon history. Uh, she happens to actually be of uh, royal blood here in Rondon. <laughs> So we'll get a chance to meet her. So we're on our way, all right? We'll bring you into everything and uh, you'll get a chance to check it out. So we have uh, with us the family, minus one, unfortunately. Uh, Mother-in-law is not 100%. Uh, uh, however, we have, uh, I'll show you some of the artwork here, alongside here, but we have, family and I, I don't know if you can hear so it's very very beautiful artwork very beautiful hotel yes no it's over this way Wow, this is elegant. Really elegant. Very, very nice. Welcome, she's here, welcome. <laughs> To the event, yes. No, no reserv. We didn't make any reservations. Uh, when we're invited. Oh. Okay. Recording. So this is Miss Grace, and Miss Grace looks like her mother. So she's gonna have a hard time looking at Miss Grace. <laughs> <laughs> so we're excited. This was was Hotel Rwanda. They have remodeled, of course, and gave it new energy. This is Rwanda, y'all.
amazing, uh, another amazing experience. Um, it just keeps getting better and better and better. Um, so grateful uh, for having the opportunity to witness yet again the tradition of the Iranian culture. Uh, right here uh, on the grounds of uh, formerly Hotel Ronda, uh, but now Hotel Diddy, Bill Khalid, and uh, the footage that you uh, will see, or have seen, uh, will speak for itself. Uh, I couldn't keep a dry eye. It's very rare. speechless myself, but for the past two uh, weekends, it's like I'm seeing Rhonda for the first time, and uh, I'm feeling the connectedness even more so, and you know, what can I say, what can I say, come to Rhonda, if you're already here, avail yourself to the tradition, the culture, the uh, people, uh, what they have to provide, and uh, get reconnected. And uh, if you haven't come, 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 come to London. So uh, this is one of our uh, tourist attractions for you.